morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 53. Thank you for the uh, brief break in video posting as I took my family on vacation this past week, but excited to jump back into it with you. We are still in our website applet, and today we're going to talk about creating a blog post. So let's do that. We're going to go down to our last icon here inside of our command. We're going to click on websites. We're going to go to edit agent site from our my websites tab and we're going to go ahead and go into expert mode we've looked at the templates previously in the videos that i've already posted over the last couple of days but here is the blog post quick start template so we can click on that and when we do basically we have three sections that we need to complete so we've got a headline potentially a sub headline not necessarily required and then the body we've also got a hero image uh, that we can add into the top as well so when it comes to blog posts some of you may be very creative uh, i'm not always that creative uh, i'm a great writer but not when it comes to blog posts so i actually use chat gpt um, if you're not familiar uh, get familiar chat gpt is a pretty powerful tool uh, chatgpt.com i'm using the paid version but you don't necessarily need the paid version to do what i'm showing you here so basically, I just put a prompt into ChatGPT. I said, hey, what are the best summer activities to do with kids in Katy, Texas? Right, just getting off of a week filled with fun with my family. Thought about what are some other items that we could be doing? And it gives me this full list of different things that are available in our Katy market. So I said, hey, first of all, let's just focus on this first paragraph that is the water fun and outdoor adventures, probably just because I got back from a water park. Um, I said, hey, chat GPT, can you find me photos that are copyright and royalty free for the four items you listed in the first paragraph? So it starts to give me copyright and royalty free photos, tells me more about the four. Then I came down and said, hey, can you take those water fun and outdoor adventure section, build it into a blog post for my real estate website. Each location should have a paragraph written about it with no less than three sentences. Please end the blog post with a call to action about buying or selling KD real estate to please contact me. Now there's probably even better prompts that you could have written, but that's a pretty basic prompt that you can write in ChatGPT and it says, sure, here we go. And now I've got that full on blog post written out for me, ready to go. So I can literally now come back into command and I say, all right, so we've got a headline. Chat gave us the headline. We're gonna go with summer fun in KD, Texas. I'm just gonna copy that, drop that into the headline. We don't need all that white space, so let's take out that. There we go. I don't need a sub headline for this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that part. And we're gonna come down to our actual body, and I'm just gonna start kind of, I'm just gonna see what happens if I just copy and paste all of this. Let's see what it looks like. We'll copy it, we'll drop it in the body. We're probably gonna have to do some editing let's take a look so here we go it actually just brought it all in and I'm going to take out some of these extra lines because I don't think it's necessarily needed and let's delete out that line there we go and there we are I mean literally that simple here is a pretty basic blog post now we did have some of those images right so we could come along and say all right so let's go back to chat we got the copyright and royalty free images so we're going to scroll back up uh, so here is typhoon texas and so i can copy that image let's see if it'll let me copy and paste images i'm pretty sure i'm going to have to download it but let's give it a go so we're going to enter then we're going to come up here this is our option to add photos so we're going to add an image yeah, it's going to make me upload it. So let me go ahead. I'm going to right click save image and we'll just put that here. Typhoon, oops, Typhoon, Texas, JPEG. I'm just going to save it there. We would come back and then click here again for image. It's going to say, hey, where do you want that image from? I want to upload a file. So it's going to tell me to choose my file. And I'm then going to go in and say, all right, let me go find that actual file. And off screen found the file. There it is uploaded. And 
I can click on upload and then save and close and there we go now there's an image of Typhoon Texas <clears throat> brought in above the Typhoon Texas water park um, it is pretty big as you can see there so I think that I can resize that uh, this is an area that I haven't spent a lot of time playing in so let's see if there is a way I'm going to click on the pencil to edit it and then let's see all sizes what does it look like if we do oh, I think I'm gonna leave it as all sizes click inside the image to set a focus point okay we'll set a focus point let's see if that does anything different and sometimes it may just be a matter of playing with these images and then we're also gonna do a preview so we'll take a look and see what it actually looks like and remember are you going to close this yes I do okay all right sorry I got a little off track there um, remember, you can always click on save, right? This is our save button here to save our blog post. And then we can see sort of what it looks like. So it takes up a big chunk of the screen, but you know, you can play with those images. Let's just see if it does the same thing. Let's go ahead and get the Mary Jo Peckham. So we're gonna add a space there. We're gonna go back to chat. And that's not Mary Jo. That's not Mary Jo. There we go. So save that image as Mary Jo Peckham Park. Um, also, just a side note, your images, when you save them, uh, having a more descriptive title for the actual image actually helps with your SEO. So don't just save it as image one or like IMG one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever try and change the title of the image uh, that actually does help again with SEO so we're gonna go in and upload that file and I put in Mary Jo Peckham Park in Katy Texas upload that and save and close there we go let's see what that one looks like yeah so the images are just gonna be a little bit bigger they're gonna be a little bit centered and I'm okay with that honestly I think that looks fine so you would go through the rest of this process and just add in uh, any additional images that you wanted to add. For me, I would just go find Exploration Park, KD PlayStation, um, and then maybe my logo or something like that at the very bottom. Once you're done, all you would have to do then is click on Publish. And then this blog post, if we go back to our dashboard, is now actually one of your blog posts. And so you can see that here. Right, so now we're going to go to our page blog list page and we want to make sure that we get that blog added and you can see it's already been added here at the very bottom so there you've got that list and if you want to make any changes you can come down to this section here and it's going to show all of your blog posts right and it's not featuring that blog post that we just created so we can click on the plus sign and then we can go find it and here is our summer blog post so we would click on that one and then close that back out so now it's showing on the featured page as well and then you can also click and drag if you want that one to be the first one on your blog list we can move that one up to the top now you can see it's showing us the first one and by the way if you didn't want any of these four first-time homebuyer ones you could just click on the minus sign and that's going to remove those and in addition I think we touched on this previously but if you want to change your title here you can certainly do that by just clicking on take it from our expert for description change both of those as well we're gonna click on save and it looks like it still is keeping on those first blog posts but that's okay it's just not going to be in the featured list so that's really it for blogs a, a simple and easy way guys if you really want your website to start ranking in your google searches kind of start climbing the ladder when people are searching for you adding consistent content with keywords headers subheaders all those things images with proper um, you know titles and and alt image text all of that kind of stuff all of that can be very very helpful when you are looking to rank your agent website in the top of searches when it goes through Google searches. So my recommendation 
learn how to create blogs, maybe schedule some time every week, maybe once a week, twice a week, to add a new blog post if you're really looking to get your agent site to start ranking up higher in the rankings. As always, hope you're having a fantastic day, and I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.